I know you don't know me, but I know three things about the people in this theater. The first is, there's at least one person here wearing red underpants. Okay, that's me. <laughs> the second thing I know about you is the fact that all of us have goals, even though we mightn't realize it. The third thing I know about you is that on the law of averages, at least 50% of us in this theater have at least one really big goal that we really want to achieve. TEDx is about sharing great ideas. I have an idea that I believe will help you achieve all of your goals. This idea has won Olympic gold medals. But you might say to me, Jerry, I have no ambitions to win an Olympic medal. This idea has helped me to turn my business fortunes around. This idea has helped me to give up smoking. This idea, this principle, has helped me to overcome a pathological fear of public speaking. This idea, this principle, believe it or not, has helped me to run 32 marathons in 32 consecutive days. Would you like a demonstration? Okay. Please stand as quickly as you can. I would like you very quickly to raise your hands as high as you can. As high as you can. Ah, there's one man here in the front row already has it. Just by going up on his tippy toes, by stretching himself, put your hands down. He's at least 5% taller than he was. And that's what I've learned. If we're prepared to stretch ourselves, we'll amaze ourselves at what we're capable of achieving in our lives. But you might say to me, Jerry, hang on, that's not enough. What about my really, really big goal? Going up my tippy toes, that mightn't work. I gave that exact same challenge to a group of five-year-old children in a classroom, and straight away one of them said to me, eh, Mr. M, is there any rules? <laughs> I said, there's no rules. And here's what he did. Stay standing for a second, please. That's your, that's your punishment. He stood up in his chair. What I've learned is this, if we're prepared to stretch ourselves, and if we're prepared to think outside the box, we will astound ourselves at the heights we're capable of reaching. Please take a seat. Once upon a time, I didn't realize it could be this straightforward. Once upon a time, I had a very simple goal, which was just to get fit. And I stretched myself to three miles, and it was only on reflection I realized that's all I had to do. And then I stretched myself a little bit more, and I realized I could get to four miles. And then I stretched myself to five miles, eight miles, 10 miles, 13 miles, half marathon. And then a bigger stretch up to a full marathon. And people say, Jerry, how do you run 32 marathons in 32 days? I just kept stretching. Now, this might sound strange, but once upon a time, my biggest goal was to overcome my biggest fear, that spe public speaking fear that I mentioned. And this principle helped me achieve it. I stretched myself to say, Jerry, you're good enough to stand up in front of a crowd. So I stretched myself to say, I'm going to do it. That was the hardest stretch. I stretched myself to stand up and address an audience of four people. And then I stretched myself a little bit more and I did a best man speech. And then I stretched myself a little bit more, and I did a pre record and then I got some coaching, and then I stretched myself to do a live radio interview. And I went from an audience of four people to 400,000 people in just four stretches. So how might this apply to you? Well, I believe sometimes the hardest stretch is just to say, I'm going to do it, I'm going to achieve my goal. The next stretch might be simply to write it down. The third stretch might be to share it with somebody. That's how I give up cigarettes. How do I achieve my business goals? I write them down, I have them in my car, and every day I open up and I look at the post-it with the figure of the ambition that I have in my business, and I say, right, Jerry, how do you think outside the box today? How are you going to keep this goal on track? What I've learned is this, to achieve our goals, we just need to start stretching. We just need to keep stretching. And we don't stop stretching until we get there. If you hit a wall along the way, just think, what would a five-year-old child do? That's my idea, that's my principle, that's my message. I wish you every success with it. Next year, yellow underpants. Thanks very much. Thank you.